So welcome to another five minute video and today we want to look into job interviews for faculty positions. What is important in those interviews? So if you're in the lucky situation that you are invited for an academic job interview um, for becoming a faculty or a professor, um, there are certain things that you need to take into account when you give your presentations in order to do a good job. So typically when you're invited there are three things which happen. First, you have to give a test lecture. Second, you have to give a talk about your research. And then there's a meeting with a recruitment committee where you, know, you ask certain questions and see what's the fit of you to the institute and other questions that are identified. And so you have to give two presentations, a lecture and a research talk. So a lecture is typically a quite standard thing. You're teaching like you would be teaching, you're giving a topic. The only thing you need to make sure in here, you need to explain how the material you're presenting here, typically within something like 20 minutes, embeds into a lecture series. So you need to shrink your material and just highlight a small part of this. You also need to make sure you address it to the right set of students. So if they say, okay, this is for third semester bachelor students, you need to make sure that for the local study program, that is actually a fit. And people three th see through that how well you are prepared for coming to that place. How much effort did you put into this? I don't want to talk about a lecture really here, um, just was just a side note. I want to talk about your research presentation. So what matters in your research presentation when you're invited for the interview? And for that, it is very important to understand what the evaluation committee wants to figure out. Of course, you need to get a, give a good talk and make sure all the elements which you uh, should integrate into a good talk also hold for your interview talk, but there are certain special things for your job interview. And that is because the commission typically needs to answer three questions. Most of the time, they want to identify if you have the potential for outstanding future research. And they will evaluate that based on your past merits and your vision forward. Right? So based on your past merits and your vision, they make the prediction if you will be um, successful in the future doing outstanding research. Second, they want to see if you're a good fit to the university, to the institute, to the position they are looking for. Um, so basically a fit to the call. And third, they want to see are you able to educate the next generation of researchers. And this happens typically through that lecture. So that means in your talk, you need to take care to address certain things. First of all, you need to make sure you present your vision. What is what you stand for? What is the thing you want to investigate in the next, whatever, five years in your research plan and how you want to push this forward? For that, it's important to note that not everything must be completed. But you need to make sure that you did first steps into this direction. So your past merits must be there so that the audience believes that you can actually ship that vision. So you need to have certain steps towards your approach. So for the vision, present what's your vision, what's your approach to this, and which part of the way you have already taken, and what are your key achievements on that way. And then you need to emphasize what are the next steps, what will you do in case you get appointed at that place, and how does this link with the infrastructure, with the other groups, with the institutes, with the large-scale funding projects which are already at that place so that they can see there's a benefit for you coming to the place, and then you will also uh, be beneficiary for the place where you applied for. And then people often say you should do kind of a T profile talk. And you basically have like a T where um, the, uh, the height of the T shows how deep you go. So a large part of your talk should be actually shallow enough so that the members of the selection committee understand what you're doing. And most of them will be not from your discipline. They all need to understand what you're doing to see interactions. But then in one part, you can select which part it is, you need to go deep and show for the expert that you know what you're talking about. The only important thing is when you go back um, and leave kind of the deep area, then you make, need to make sure you reconnect with the others and keep them engaged again into your presentation. And then at some point in time you come to the end and on the last slide there are basically two ways how you can address the last slide. One thing is highlight your past merits in order to emphasize what you have done and so that they believe you can do further outstanding research. Or the second approach could be what will you bring in, how you will push the local place forward, how will you support the faculty, the institute, the university and make them more successful. It probably depends where you are in your career, if you go for past merits or what I will I bring in, 
but these are two possible ways to end your presentation. I hope that was useful and simplifies your search for a faculty position in the future. Thank you.